New clues tonight as Philadelphia police search for two of the suspects wanted in connection with a deadly shooting at a SEPTA bus stop. These new images come as the manhunt intensifies. The gunfire erupted back on March 4th on the 6200 block of Ogons Avenue and killed a student from Imhotep Charter. Monday night and the big story on Action News is the latest in the murder investigation of 17 year old Damon Taylor and Philadelphia police asking for the public's help in identifying his killers. Action News reporter Walter Perez is live at police headquarters with the full story. Walter. Well, Rick, as you mentioned, the biggest new detail is surveillance images, giving us a better look at the gunman responsible. Philadelphia police want you to take a good look at these surveillance images. Investigators say these are the two people involved in that horrific shooting that took the life of 17-year-old Damon Taylor back on March 4th. Authorities say several people, including Taylor, were boarding a SEPTA bus at Broad and Godfrey when the suspects opened fire. Taylor was killed, four others were wounded. In these images, you can see one of the gunmen wearing a hooded sweatshirt that says emotional on the front with this message on the back. Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel tells Action News he is optimistic these images will help investigators find the people responsible. We're not going to stop in our work. We're going to continue to work hard to, to bring people to justice who engage in this type of behavior. Investigators are also still working to see if this case might be linked to another shooting two days later, also involving a SEPTA bus stop, during which eight Northeast High School students were shot in the Burr Holmes section of the city. Commissioner Bethel says what's most alarming is the number of young people involved in these cases. Watching the number of kids that were shot around the school, never thought it would continue. I'd hope we had gotten to a place where we were able to, to stop that from happening. We spoke with people who live and work in the city who say, quite frankly, they they never thought the issue of crime would become this severe. There's a lot of stuff going on in this neighborhood, but you got to be aware. There have been, you know, shootings in this area from time to time, you know, but nothing to that magnitude. Now, along with the two people in those images, police are also looking for a 17-year-old linked to that other shooting that I mentioned on March 6th. Anyone with further information about either of these cases is asked to contact police. Reporting live from police headquarters, Walter Perez, Channel 6, Action News. Rick?